vem do rio ou do mar? Nossa, a chuva faz a piscina e o mar em série. One of the things that we know is that babies are the best scientists and the best learners that we know of in the universe. They're really designed to learn and both their brains and their minds are, are just made to be these incredible, incredible machines for learning. We often say that toddlers have trouble paying attention. What we really mean is that they have trouble not paying attention. So what they're doing is being very, very sensitive to all of the patterns of information, everything that is happening around them. Um, and then they're taking that information and putting it to use to try to solve problems and figure out what's going on in the world. Watching children enjoy nature is, is extremely interesting for me because one of the things I notice is how observant they are. And I know for me as an adult, we often kind of walk around with our eyes fundamentally closed. We're just looking for things that we expect and they will see things like a bird in a tree that I would never notice. And so they have a sense of observation and wonder that, I, that for me is quite inspirational. <laughs> Babies have guesses or hypotheses about what should happen in the world and they try to confirm them. That is one of the reasons why if you have a baby in a high chair in a restaurant, they may drop a spoon off the side of the high chair and it hits the floor and makes a big noise. And the parent may put the spoon back on the high chair and say, don't knock off the spoon. And the next thing the baby does is pick up the spoon and throw it on the floor again to see if it makes a noise. So the babies are busy trying to understand how predictable the world is. Does the world work like this? If I drop that spoon, will it make another sound? Sometimes they do experiments with us. If I drop the spoon, will my mother get excited again? The mother is saying, stop. The baby is thinking, this is wonderful. I understand my mother. I can get her to make this facial expression. <laughs> And that is one of the reasons babies will repeat things over and over and over. We get tired of it. Babies are repeating it like little scientists and they're thinking, I can repeat this experiment. Look, it works like this again. Isn't this the most wonderful thing? Those are things that we, of course, as adults take for granted, but those are things that we actually learned when we were babies. And the way we learned them was through doing these experiments that we call play.